My name is Specialist 4th Class David A. Carr, United States Army, retired. I'm from Medford, Massachusetts. My grandfather had been mayor of the city, as had my father also been mayor. 1963, at that time, the governor of Massachusetts was Endicott Chubb Peabody. He had been good friends with my father. When President Kennedy asked Governor Peabody whom he thought would be a good choice for state director of selective service, he immediately thought of my father and President Kennedy, almost just before he died, appointed my father. He was the head of the draft for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. When President Kennedy was killed, especially in this household where the president had appointed my, my father, uh, it, it was a very, very, very sad time. Very bad for my father and uh, and for all of us. President Johnson kept my father as state director in Massachusetts. I joined the Army, enlisted, because uh, I did not wait to be drafted. I can remember the newspaper uh, headline, Dad can't draft his son, and a picture of yours truly being sworn in to the Army. I enlisted in the paratroopers, Army Airborne Infantry. My last night at home, mm -hmm. my father and I were uh, sitting up, just the two of us, and uh, drinking scotch. And he said this, he said, Dave, you know I can get you out of this. To which I replied, I know, Dad. That was all that was said. The draft lottery had made the job of state director almost a non-job because now my father was not getting phone calls from friends asking to get, just get my kid out, John. Just, just get my kid out. But once the draft lottery started, the head of the draft became uh, just a figurehead. I got shot the same day that the first draft lottery was, was drawn. So you might say, my father and I lost our jobs on the same day. I could have been stationed in his office the entire eighth floor of the JFK building was for the Selective Service. I could have been stationed in his office for two years, but that's not what I saw as the right thing. And it wasn't because of my father, it was because of the country. I was fighting for one thing. People would ask me when I came home, why? And my answer was, for the secret ballot. People who are not being served properly by their government to be able to have a secret ballot where they could pick their own leaders. And that's what I, that's what I've told people ever since.